live now from Avenue of the Cafe, and we have a uh, special guest, my good friend. Let's give it up for Mark Tannenbaum. Everyone put their name on this thing. Mark, we'll start with you. Uh, a little, a little I'm getting organized here, but uh, Mark, first of all, um, thanks for coming down. I know you love this place, Avenue of the Cafe. Um, nice diner here in Long Beach. Um, there's always something going on with the Long Beach Chamber, and I understand um, there's a big city council meeting coming up, which is very important. So let's fill people in Long Beach up with the latest news. Hello, good evening, everybody. Nice to be here again. Uh, always wonderful to be on the half my Howie Show. Um, tomorrow night, um, and it's only come out in the last few hours, but there is going to be an emergency city council meeting at 5 o'clock. Um, in the city chambers, as uh, always, and it's going to be on the immediate budget, and I think it's important that um, everybody in the community who's available, and if you're not available, try to make yourself available, make sure you come down there to City Hall, listen and hear what's going on that has to do with your budget and with the money that the city spends, um, and understand what the ramifications of uh, all this budget money um, comes to and understand that it's an outgoing city um, uh, council that's going to be voting on it. So uh, uh, you should be down there. You should make it your business to voice your opinion. It's your government. It's your budget. It's your uh, dollars. Um, so that's very important. Tomorrow night at 5 p.m., not the normal 7 o'clock time. It's 5 p.m. So make sure you're down there. Um, I will most probably be down there to make sure that I uh, get my voice heard. But make sure you're down there. Uh, as far as um, the chamber, we just came off of a wonderful, wonderful dinner dance, our 48th annual dinner dance. It was one of the uh, better dinner dances uh, that we've had. Uh, everybody had a real good time. We're looking forward to uh, next year's now. You go to the um, chamber website, the longbeachchamber.com, you'll see tons and tons of pictures. There's about 300 pictures up on the, the website. Uh, and you'll see everybody that was there, you'll see the honorees, and all the fun that went on. Uh, Winter Blast time is coming around. Winter Blast will give you the date uh, probably on next week or the following week's show. But the Winter Blast will be held right here at Avenue uh, Cafe. So it should be a fun Winter Blast. It's a big place. Got a wonderful bar here and a very friendly place. So we're looking forward to having everybody come down for the Winter Blast. Uh, this coming Tuesday, at Itty Mulligans, we're going to be having our uh, monthly general meeting. It's open to the public. Anybody is welcome to come. It starts at 7 o'clock. Itty Mulligans, um, and yeah, that should be a fun event. Also, maybe Half Time Howie will even come down. It's a Tuesday night. Uh, I'm going to give you back to Half Time Howie. Thank you, everybody, for your support of our Long Beach Chamber. Now, I think this is a perfect segue. A couple of years back, at the dinner dance, the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce honored Dr. Joel Benowitz as the professional of the year. And Dr. Benowitz is here today. And speaking from the chamber perspective, uh, talk about when you honor someone as the professional of the year, they obviously have to make an enormous impact in the community. Let's reflect on Dr. Benowitz being the professional of the year of the chamber of the year. Well, Dr. Benowitz is more than a doctor. He has a care in the community, has a care in his patients. He has a caring type of treatment um, that they receive. Uh, he brings Long Beach Hospital up another level because of his care and his concern with how the patients go. And that is why we honored him when we honored him. Because of the extra mile, the extra two miles that he goes over another doctor or another community for another community hospital. All right, let's give it up for Mark Tannenbaum. Well said. Welcome to the show. Well, Howie, thanks for inviting me to the show. I'm glad I can participate in this group discussion. And I look forward to always advancing this community and Long Beach Medical Center and actively involved in the support of commerce as well as Long Beach Medical Center. And that's why we're here. We're trying to reach out to the community to let them know what we're able to offer at a small community hospital that does incredible work for what we do well at. What we do, we do exceptionally well, and what we can do, we try to take care of patients in a very sensitive and 
caring way, with great staff, great ancillary staff, great nursing care, better than any other nursing care anywhere. And we're really almost like a boutique hospital. We're able to offer that kind of sensitivity and caring and emotional support to our patients with the greatest staff that I can imagine. My family has been operating on there. I obviously have committed my last 25 years plus to this community and the outpour and the support has just been incredible. And we're here to try to present to the community some of the aspects of the things we do with the incredible panel here and with people who have had the experience of being at Long Beach Medical Center. Let me give you back to Howie and thank you very much for having me. And most thank you for this time work, sir. A couple of weeks back we had uh, several women on. We talked about breast cancer awareness and they're all passionately involved and they did mention that uh, one of the major topics at the hospital is you want to get a valuable piece of equipment um, to raise money for, which is really going to save lives. Let's talk about that. That uh, we, we mentioned a couple. Of, I forget what it's called, but I know it's um, digital. Well, yeah. Let's talk about the digital and, and why it's so important to raise funds to get it to the hospital. Well, digital mammography differs than analog mammography because with digital mammography, there are studies that show in patients in 40 and 50 year age group, you can find abnormalities and calcifications and densities that will prevent needing unnecessary biopsies. At the same time, being able to diagnose uh, abnormalities that might need a biopsy. Uh, having an analog equipment is adequate, but it's the next level of screening that just is something that, uh, as a community hospital, we require to provide that level of service to our patients in this community. And the women in this community are those people that help the, their family in selecting the kind of care and where they're going to have care. And having digital mammography will give them an opportunity to have state of the art. Mammography, we do ultrasound, and from there all the other aspects of radiologic care is available at the hospital. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser in the attempt of bringing enough monies to develop a uh, money for digital mammography. I've had many discussions with Logic, who is a company, and they are really coming in to do whatever is necessary to help us support uh, this, uh, uh, this venture. Uh, we also are having a psychic night with an incredible uh, psychic and clairvoyant, Patty Canover, who's a friend and someone who's very special. It's called Sold Out, and we would hope the community supports it. It's Thursday, December 8th, uh, 2011 at 6 p.m. at Temple Emanuel. A very nominal amount for having an incredible dinner, as well as being inspired and having your future read by Patty Canover, an incredible lady very talented. That's awesome. And speaking of the fundraiser and big events, uh, we welcome, let's give it up for Cheryl Rice. <laughs> and Cheryl, I know you got got a couple of big events that you want to raise some money. Let's talk about a couple of big events that are coming up that you uh, want to promote and people should get involved with. Thank you, Carol. The biggest event we have coming up is the Psychic Night, as Dr. Benjamin said. It's going to be Thursday, December 8th. attention to Gina. There's still time to get a table. A table of 10 will be reserved for you. We have ongoing fundraisers. Uh, we do sweets for a sweet cause. Our third and last one for this year is going to be on December 9th. It's a bake sale. Homemade sweets that are sold at the hospital for a dollar, two dollars. Um, I bake. Some of the other women bake. Uh, some of the staff at the hospital bakes. And just with our last three bake sales, we have raised over $1,000. So that's part of our ongoing uh, fundraising efforts. We're also next year looking at a cocktail party, a brunch, and a fashion show. And as those develop, I will have more details for you. That's awesome. Let's welcome in Dr. Larry Sirota. Woo! First of all, Dr. Sirota, welcome to the show. And one thing I, I 
can tell from hearing Dr. Benowitz, and you probably feel the same way, you are passionate about what you do, about saving lives and making a difference. Talk about making a difference here in the Long Beach community. Well, I've been on staff at Long Beach Hospital since since about 2000, and uh, I believe that this hospital has tremendous potential in this community, and we support the hospital in that, which is why I'm here tonight as well. The community uh, gets together behind the hospital, and that's epic by everyone that's here tonight. Uh, the role I play is uh, subsequent to the work of that, the digital mammography that's being uh, discussed here tonight gets done and it's completed, but undeniably, my personal belief is that this is the future, this is something that has to be acquired by the hospital for the community, and will be helped, very helpful in allowing the hospital to continue to do the good work that it is doing. That's, that's, uh, that's awesome. And, you know, we've had a, a young girl who's performed on our show, she sang several songs. Uh, young woman's name is Sarah Grant. And Sarah Grant said on our show, she owes her life to Dr. Benowitz, that you actually saved her life. She was a very sick young woman, and, and you know, when you hear something like that, it's real powerful. Well, it's always nice to be appreciated by patients who have had difficult diagnosis and treatments and appreciate not only the work I've done, but Dr. Sirota assisted, as well as Long Beach Medical Center. And I think also she and her family were very surprised at the level of care that Long Beach Medical Center can offer and the diagnostic abilities that we had. Uh, I just am always very overwhelmed by patients who are so appreciative of just something that I do and should be done in an emotionally supportive, compassionate way, and giving patients the best of care that we can offer. And there's so many people just like myself at Long Beach Medical Center who care about their patients, are dedicated to their patients, and work the hardest they can to help people get better and do the appropriate treatment. In breast cancer treatments, we fortunately, I and my practice attract patients from all over the, uh, the county, as well as outside of the state, and when I bring them to Long Beach Medical Center, they're just so incredibly impressed by the care that we're able to administer together a team of doctors and nurses that just do outstanding work and get incredible results. Uh, and patients appreciate that kind community spirit and not only that, but the level of care and concern that they may not always see in a bigger hospital where they're just a number. Let me give you back to how that's great. You know, we've, uh, in the last several weeks on this show, I'm very proud to say we've tackled a lot of serious topics uh, that affects everyone in the community. We did a show on breast cancer awareness. We did a show on domestic violence. Uh, we did a show on bullying. And I'm proud to say on December 20th, um, uh, County Executive Ed Mangano is coming into our Long Beach office, and we're going to be doing a, a show on drunk driving. Because I heard a report on the radio that 50 drunk drivers were arrested from Wednesday to Saturday during the Thanksgiving holiday, keeping Nassau County safe. I called up um, Executive Office of Ed Mangano and I said, I want him on my show to talk about this important issue, especially during the holidays, because people drink and drive and it's dangerous. So he's going to be on our show. We're going to devote the whole show to um, drunk driving and um, Ed Mangano is going to be on our show. And, you know, when we did the show on breast cancer awareness, um, Judy talked about the support group, and it was so powerful that night how women who were all very sick got treatment, got better, but the support group that you formed formed a bond. Let's talk about the support group that you have established here in Long Beach. I had my own double mastectomy done at Long Beach. journey alone is really difficult and what I find is the best thing is that you have support from other women at the hospital which we are very proud of this has just started 
and we now have meetings on the second and fourth Monday of each month at 7 o'clock at the hospital itself. And we would love to help other women. It's so nice when we see other women come and say, oh my, just talking to other women who are in the same situation as I am has just, just, has just let me um, feel so much more at peace. And there's information that we all learn from each other. I'm going to give you the phone number. It's 897-1344. And any woman who would like to find information about the support group is please urge to call. Okay. All right. Um, you know, I mentioned in the previous um, segment that um, we did a whole topic of bullying. And we are honored to have um, Brian McNamee, who is trained professional athletes. But Brian wrote a book. And in one of the... Um, in one of the uh, chapters, he wrote, he devoted a whole chapter to bullying. And after the break, um, I want to talk to Brian about bullying, and I also want to talk to Brian about, um, uh, we formed an organizer that we're going to be doing on uh, Sunday, December 18th at the Cabana for a very sick child here in Long Beach. His name is Jake Alexander. Uh, Jake has missed seven weeks of school now. He's been diagnosed with a, uh, a cyst on his heart. He also has a nervous condition. Uh, very sick, and I have to tell you, but the medical expenses, seeing doctors, and going to hospitals, has is, is put a financial drain on the family. So on December 18th at the Cabana from 8 to midnight, we're going to do a fundraiser for Jake, and, and Brian has been nice enough to donate 20 books uh, that night, and hopefully other businesses in Long Beach will donate um, certificates and whatnot to that uh, worthy cause. But uh, right now, uh, we want to thank everyone here at Long Beach Medical Center, and after the break, you do not want to miss Brian McNamee. He's always an interesting interview, and I am dying to pick his brain because when you talk to Brian McNamee, you better be on your toes because he's a real bright guy. He's coming up after the break. We are live from Avenue of the Cafe. This is Halftime Howie broadcasting on the beach, Long Beach's one and only radio station. Coming to you live from Avenue of the Cafe here in Long Beach from Long Island's first and oldest radio station, 1240 AM, WGBB.